friends welcome to my youtube channel passionate piping engineer in this video we will learn about introduction to process piping in this video we will cover the following topics first we will understand what is piping then we will learn about what is piping system with the help of a demo piping system plant third we will see what are piping components what is process piping and last but not the least we will see all the applications of the piping system in various industries. So let's start with our first topic, what is piping? What is piping? Piping is a system connecting various process equipments for various purposes which includes pipe, flanges, fittings, boltings and gaskets, valves of various type measuring instruments such as level, flow, temperature and pressure. This also includes various supports for proper installation. Here the question comes, what is piping system, which is also the second topic in our list. Let us consider a small demo plant and try to understand the piping system. Now in this plant, we have three tanks, tank 1, tank 2 and tank 3. We have to transfer the content of tank 1 and tank 2 into tank 3. Now after placing all the tanks, we need to connect them and to do so we need some pipes so let's introduce the pipes to our system pipes are only straight cross-sectional pieces and in this condition they cannot be joined and hence for joining them we need some kind of a fitting which are also called as a pipe fitting means we need some connection at this point and if we observe closely to all the pipes there is some variation in the line size or we can say the lines are of different sizes now here line means pipe always remember when anyone in the piping industry says lines they mean pipes back to our topic now let's see what are pipe fittings which are one of the piping components but what are piping components piping components Piping components are mechanical elements which are suitable for joining or assembling pipes into a pressure tight fluid cutlining piping system. Let's see what actually comes under piping components. Piping components include pipe tubes, fittings, flanges, caskets, boltings, valves and specialty items. We need some pipe fittings. So let us see what are pipe fittings. Pipe fittings are used to connect straight sections of pipes or tubes that helps in pipe routing for directional changes that is elbow, branch connections that is T and size changes that is reducer or expanders. If we come back to our system, we need some directional bent fittings at this point, a branch connection at this point and a reducing fitting to connect the two different line sizes some fittings which are used to take a turn that is elbow to take a branch that is T and to join the two different line sizes that is reducer so all the lines means all the piping in our system are connected now but they are not connected to the equipments now after this step let us connect the pipes to the relative equipments and to do so we need some piping components but the condition is it must not be a welded type of the fitting this is because of three points first is if we weld a pipe directly to the equipment nozzle it will be a rigid type of a joint second point is there are different specification on both end that is on piping side and on the equipment side third point it must be a flexible type of a joint which can be easily dismantled at the time of the maintenance or servicing of the equipment this is the most important point because like I said in the first point, if we weld the pipe directly to the equipment, it will be a rigid joint means once it is welded, it is finished and at the time of the maintenance, we need to cut the joint, hence it does not cover the maintenance point. So a piping component that suit all the conditions such as flexibility and dismantling of the joint is a flange, but the flange cannot be used alone. It has to be used with cascades and a set of bolts. Actually, these are three components used for a single flange joint assembly. 
Placing the flanges with cascades and bolts, we have successfully connected our piping system to the relative equipments. But does this complete the piping system? No. But why? Because only collecting the pipes to the equipment is not sufficient as we have no control over the flow of the fluid. And to do so, we need some valves whose function is to isolate, regulate and control the flow. Now the valves have been placed at the appropriate location. As we know, the fluid comes with some amount of the impurities in the form of derips which has to be removed from the final product. So here we need to fulfill some special needs in the system. That is, we need some piping specialty items such as strainer for filtration purpose and as we also know, the fluid flowing through the pipes can be hot or cold depending upon the requirements of the final product. We know that the metal expands when heated and contrast when the heat is removed. So here comes the point of thermal expansion and to absorb or reduce this thermal expansion, we also need some expansion joints in our system. The piping specialty item that is strainer and expansion joint is placed at their appropriate location. Like I said, the lines can be hot or cold as per the requirement. That is, now we need to measure the temperature and pressure under which the fluid is flowing in the system. Apart from this, we also need to measure the flow rate. So, to do all these activities, there must be some temperature, pressure and flow measuring instrument within the system, which will ensure the safe and precise functioning of the system. All the piping components such as pipe fittings which includes elbows, tees and reducers and flanges, gaskets, bolts, valves, specialty items such as strainer, expansion joint and instrument are been placed. The system is not yet been completed because in order to keep this entire system in the desired location, we need to support the system. Now we need to support the entire system for holding the pipes and fittings in the desired position. Hey, we have finally completed the entire piping system with all the necessary elements. This is how the entire system look after placing all the piping elements or piping components in order to make a piping system. Let us take a brief look on the piping system. A piping system, therefore we can say that pipes when joined with various fittings, valves, instruments and mechanical equipments and properly supported by hangers and supports is called as piping system. The third topic in our list is what is process piping? What is process piping? Pipes and piping systems are the veins and arteries of the chemical process plant used for transporting liquids, vapors, slurries, etc. under various conditions as imposed by the process design of the plant. To understand this statement, let us take an example of the human body. In our body, as the blood flows through the veins and arteries to various parts of the body, similarly, similarly in refineries and chemical process plant, the liquid and gases are transported from one point to the other through pipes. Any processes can be divided into number of unit operations. Just like in mechanical operations which includes cutting, milling, drilling, welding, grinding, fitting etc. In refinery or chemical process plant, unit operations could be mixing, reaction, distillation, evaporation, drying etc. Process piping is therefore a technique used to convert chemicals, gases or liquids such as crude oil into a valuable final product which can be used at the consumer's end. To understand this, let's take an example of our tea and coffee vending machine. In tea and coffee vending machine, the pipes are used for transporting the key ingredients such as coffee powder or tea powder, milk and hot water in order to process a cup of coffee. In the process of making a cup of coffee, an adequate amount of coffee powder, milk powder and hot water needs to be mixed in a precise measure. The measurements of these ingredients are given at the time of setting our machine so that we get a perfect cup of coffee. The same thing is done in the process piping or chemical plant, petrochemical plants and refineries to get the desired final products such as gasoline, diesel, kerosene and so on. The last topic in our list and the last topic 
of our video is application of piping system in various industries. Application of piping system in various industries means where the piping systems are used. The piping systems are used in refineries, chemical plants, food processing plants, fertilizer plants, paper mills, etc. and other similar industries to carry liquids, gases, chemical vapors from one point to other. Whereas piping system in thermal power plants are used to convey high pressure and high temperature steam to generate electricity. Similarly, pipelines are used to carry crude oil from oil wells to refineries for processing, natural gas, transportation and distribution. I hope you have understood the topic of this video as I have tried to cover all the important points that are used in piping design while designing a piping system of a process piping plant. Thanks for watching this video and if you like the content of my video please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends because sharing also increases our own knowledge and yes don't forget to subscribe to our channel passionate piping engineer and also press the bell icon below to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos till then stay tuned take care